what I get for falling asleep with my hair wet. We very clearly have had a weekend and we're not <laughs> prepared to be on camera today, but so much happened. So much happened. Ring the alarm. Ring the fucking alarm. I'll we had damned. to do it. We had to come on, had to hop on the hot mic real quick to do <laughs> a girl's room mini sewed. This is a 911 code red girls room mini sewed. We've gained wags. We've lost wags. Don't even. We have questions about wags. Uh, you so guys have questions on. about wags, and that's why we're here. And you want to know what? We have some questions too. But we're here. To but we're here to answer try to answer them, them as best as we can, which I can't promise is going to be. You're not going to get all the answers you want, and you're not going to like it. No, because guess what? We didn't. We didn't, we, and, we, and don't. we don't. And we, we didn't. Don't. We don't, and we probably won't. So I think starting off with the first, which is. Um, Something we gained a wag, and I feel like this is the most confirmed that we can get. We did get confirmation this weekend that Charles Leclerc is no longer a single man. Serial surprise, monogamous. surprise. Charles has another girlfriend. Oh my um, god! And surprise, surprise. She's also from Monaco, and she's also a baby. And she also looks, looks like exactly Charlotte. like Charlotte. Um, so also, her- I was looking at her LinkedIn. Okay. Or maybe her LinkedIn. And she was taking classes in interior design, interior architectural design. So once again, what does architecture, like what does, why does architecture have a chokehold on? Do you think that he just really wants someone, he's trying to find the perfect person to like build his dream house someday? Maybe. His Barbie dream house. He's like, (laughs) I have to fulfill my goals of having the perfect home. And so what? I'll just find someone that can make it. And your only chance of ever being with Charles Leclerc is if you're an architect. And like 21 years old, still in so school. Both of us are out. He, you know what? He has to see what they get on their final exams in school. And their final exams in school is also the final exam to see if they're going to stay with Charles because the minute they graduate, if those exam grades if are you not up to par, do not graduate you're with out. honors. You're, you're out. fucking out. <laughs> That's what happened with Charlotte. She didn't so, pass with flying colors. Okay, said, well, you're not going to be good enough for this job. Well, I'm I'm really thinking that Charles is hit in his Leo DiCaprio era. Literally, what's going on? Because, well, because I was thinking about the interview that he did last year at some point, and someone was like, oh, you've been with your girlfriend for a long time. Can we expect wedding bells anytime soon? It was like on some like Italian yeah. talk show. And he was like, well, my girlfriend is still in school, so maybe let's wait for her to graduate, and then we'll see. She graduates. She graduates. They break up. Promptly gets dumped. Promptly they break up. So I'm like, "Mm." he's just, he's going with the schoolgirls until they graduate and then it's over. It's like Leo when they turn 25. They're too old for him. So, however, I would like to say personally, I'm having a little growth moment because I did see this confirmation that Charles was on TV and they said relationship status. And he said in a relationship. Uh, and this girl, Alex was seen. We haven't even introduced her yet. We haven't <laughs> talked about her name. Anyway. But anyways, I saw that. Nothing. No feelings. Didn't care. And I Kate's think that's, over her ex. that's called hashtag closure. <laughs> um, <laughs> but okay. So the girl's name is Alexandra St. Malo. Mm-hmm. She is from Monaco. She's 21, we think, and she right now is a, an art history student, mm-hmm. allegedly in Paris. Yeah. Um. So she was there this weekend. There's been rumors about them for like a couple, a couple months. months at this point. Which, um. Once again, what is what is the timeline of this relationship? It's literal. Immediate. Did Charles pull another Charlotte on Charlotte? Yeah. Charlotte got Charlotted. Once a hoe, always a hoe. Ladies, don't ever forget it. Don't if ever forget it. If your man cheated on his ex girlfriend with you, he's cheating. He's on you cheating with, on you with another girl with the, his next girlfriend. Yep. So, I mean, I'm not slandering Charles here. I'm not but saying that he did. She, he cheated ever. The timeline However, could be questionable. Timelines are. I mean, objectively, the timelines are just fast. Like, imagine you break up, like, you and your boyfriend of so many years break up. Yeah, I can't Sorry. imagine, actually. I can't imagine. Yeah, I actually can't imagine. And uh, that's why I'm mad for Charlotte. And that's why I'm, like, I have the ick for Charles because... I know. What, it, like, 
gross. Also, like, as the second woman, you're like, okay, you dated this person for so long and, like, it's only been two months and now I expect to have a serious relationship with you? Absolutely the fuck not. And if you do, that's fucked up on him. He's going through some shit. I mean, we've already always said Charles needs to speak to someone. Yeah. Um, Charles is going through a lot and he has um, an unhealthy attachment style. Yeah. And I think that he needs to talk to someone about 100%. it. hundred percent. Anyways, um, not that we're- His daddy issues are coming Not that our- So strong. Not honestly. that our mental health uh, <laughs> gives us any credentials to be able to discuss anyone else's, but- We're in therapy, so- We're, we're in therapy, so- We can so see the signs. We're in therapy now, and so we can be therapists for Charles. <laughs> uh, anyway, so that's one that's, you know, gained a wag. No, but also I'm not done talking about her okay. yet. Okay. I'm not Tell done me. talking okay. about her yet. We did bring up the fact that she looks exactly like Charlotte. She does. She does. And I will say, I think Charlotte was much prettier. Um, I'm not like trying to compare the two because I'm not like, you know, we never pit two successful women against each other. Never. Um, But I'm just like, Charlotte definitely had, was prettier. Um, And I'll say that. And also, I think it's incredibly boring that she has an art Instagram. That's not even her own art. Where she just reposts photos of art other people's art and, that she likes and, and they're like classical paintings and i'm like cool and to charlotte's credit she also had an art instagram but she was painting those shoes she was doodle she shoeing. was doodling she on was, those shoes her she, own self she was taking pictures of clouds and drawing pictures in those, in clouds. those clouds so don't you I'm ever waiting, forget her artistic i'm waiting ability. for the day that alex posts charlotte's art on her <laughs> instagram yeah, like Real recognizes real, and so you better put Charlotte's art on your Instagram. <laughs> Bestie, you heard it here first. Anyway, I also was not impressed. My hair is literally insane right now. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's doing <laughs> it's doing something. That's for um, sure. Also, I was not impressed by any single outfit she wore this weekend to the paddock. You know what? I will give her the benefit of the doubt. It was her first weekend as a wag. She's trying to figure out her wag style. I, yeah, but all of those clothes look like she got them from Target. And that's fine, but like you're Charles Leclerc's girlfriend. Yeah. You can't show up in a Target dress. Like, I'm looking through because we had this little black number that was like very like late. Okay. So you had this like lace black dress. Yeah, it was fine. Again, it looks was like it's from fine. Target. fine. It was very like Zara. Yeah. Like it definitely came from Zara, which we know the wags love Zara. So mm-hmm. it probably did. It just looked very like young. Like she was showing that she's 21. And then she had this, like, white long sleeve dress that I was like, are you Meghan Markle getting married? Or are you trying to be Kelly and Kay? Yeah. It was very much giving Kelly. Yeah. But, Um, girl, you're 21, not 33. Yeah. Which, again, a whole other issue with Kelly. But that's fine. Um, I just was not impressed by anything that she wore. And then, where's the other? She had another outfit on. It was green. It was, like, this floral. um, Yeah, floral midi, like. Yeah, that one was Slow fine. Was, I kind of liked that. And that was for Friday practice. But and again, I feel like it's fine, but it's Monaco. Yeah. And like, you know, you're supposed to show up and show out for Monaco. And but like, also like, she's from Monaco. So is it just like any other day? She's just like, whatever. I don't need to try that hard. This is my home. Kelly lives there too. And she still usually looks pretty good. Well, yeah, because Kelly is uh, an attention slut. I don't know. I think if it's your first weekend being an official wag, yeah, in Monaco, I think you gotta put you gotta show you gotta put your best foot forward. And I just don't think that she did. It's sad because I think she thinks she did. I'm being a hater, and that's fine. Kate's defending her. That's fine too. I guess we're p- picking sides. Um, I'm just trying to give her the benefit of the doubt of having it be her first weekend. And we've seen other wags in their first weekends, like, take a minute to come into themselves. Tiffany's still trying to figure it out, all right? <laughs> Sometimes people just take a little bit longer. I'm not going to immediately hate this woman just because she's dating Charles. And no, I'm gonna I don't. I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt until she gives me a reason to make fun to of her. To be fair, I'm, I... I know you're in a, you're in a hating mood this weekend. I'm a huge hater this weekend. But also, I'm more hating on Charles. Like, I literally... Yes. I think... Well, don't blame Charles. Don't blame I'm her. Not- I'm not, but I still, mistakes. just because I don't like her outfits doesn't mean I'm saying that she's a bad person. I'm just saying I don't like her outfits and I think her art Instagram is boring and that's fine, but it's tough. The thing is, is like, I'm a hater of like really rich people because really rich people are fucking boring. Yeah, that's very true. Like you have no personality um, and I just don't think we're going to get a lot out of her. So nobody p- like pin your hopes on her being an exciting wag because no. I, all the signs are pointing to 0% entertainment value. Yeah. You know 
we are going to get always good things from Kika. 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 Kika, you know, she just, we've said this before. She knows what she's doing. Yeah. In the wag paddock. Mm-hmm. Like another young child. Another and baby she's child. actually like only 20, 19. How old is she? 20 now. 20. But she knows what to do. Which is crazy to me because you would think that being Gen Z, Alexandra would also know what she's doing, but apparently she doesn't. But I'm also wondering like, here's the thing. Here's the thing is because I'm, this is why I'm saying like, she's from Monaco. Right. Like, born and bred Monaco. Mm-hmm. Charlotte was all, also never really totally knew what she was doing fashion wise. Right. I feel like is Listen, Monaco a, like, are people that were born in Monaco. I don't mean clothes wise. I mean also just like, Instagram I know, but no, that's wise. what I'm saying is like, do I would love to do a little study here. Like, do they have the same type of TikTok? Like, are they as Gen Z as everyone else? Or are they just in their like rich bubble of being Well, like we talked about with the food menu. The like Monaco has nothing going for it, really. It's just rich people being rich. And there's like no culture. Which is why I'm like, that's maybe the difference is, is like, I don't think Gen Zers from Monaco are super Gen They're Z. They're just rich. They're and just rich people living in Monaco. Like yeah. that is what they are. Like yeah. that's their identifier, not being like Gen Z yeah. or um, millennials or anything like that. Like so, imagine being that rich and that boring. I could never. <sighs> anyway, Kika. Kika is crushing it. I mean, Always. nothing nothing crazy to say about Kika because I do want to make sure that we say all of the like dramatic things. So Kika was there. Kika looked great. They went to Khan last week. Mm-hmm. Looked incredible. Um, Which, again, we talked about she got the invite. Yeah. He was yes. a plus one. So, yeah. She was the one invited to Khan and she brought Pierre. Not the other way so around. And I loved that. at Khan this year. Yeah. I don't, what is going on? Um, I thought influencer culture was kind of on the outs. I think... It'll never be. I think we're reaching the zenith of influencer culture and like the bubble is about to pop. Like I think it's being oversaturated right now and everyone's getting really annoyed. Yeah. Um, And people who are like not actually doing anything other than looking hot, I think are really gonna. That's where the difference is between like influencers and then like content Content creators. creators. Exactly. Because there are some content creators that are also influencers and they're going to stay around because they're actually like doing things. Yeah. Um, But if you're just an influencer who looks hot and getting paid to look hot, I think we're... Your time is running out, I think. Yes. And that's where it's time for ugly girls who create content like us to shine. So let's have like people bring, watch your back. Let's bring the success to the ugly content creators <laughs> a la two girls. <laughs> two ugly girls creating content. Um, anyways, we're not going to talk about – we'll do a bigger girls room during the main episode this yeah. week. So, like, we'll talk more about Kika. We'll talk more about Carmen. We'll mm-hmm. talk about, like, our mainstays. However – there is some rumors that we need to address. First of all, there's a rumor that Max and Kelly broke up. Don't believe it. Don't. Not true. She was there yesterday. She's been there. Yeah. We're not getting into that because I'm, I just don't think that's true. I don't think it's true. I, I'm Like hoping... we said last week, I think they're preparing for it. Yeah. Like we said, she's trying to make a name for herself outside of Max. So right. I think maybe, maybe things are on the rocks, but they're not broken up. Right. So done with that one. <sighs> Well, let's let's save the the worst for last. Yeah. So the next one is is a little more confirmed. Yes, and we've been we've and been saying we've been, this for a while. I mean, we've been saying this for so long, but they yeah. always prove us wrong. But guys, it's official. It feels like it's official. It feels as though we can rightfully say Elena and Esteban huh. are no more. Yeah. And I know we said we were never going to speculate on them again because they always come back and like prove us wrong and are like surprised we're still together. But this time, I feel like it's real. She, he brought his mom to con with yeah. him as as his date. Right. Usually, he brings Elena right. to all those things. She was in Monaco this weekend. She was in the this, paddock. She on was Saturday. She was not in the paddock though. She just was a VIP. So oh. it wasn't. It was like different. Okay. So basically, Elena loves to drop little tidbits, little handful of mm-hmm. Easter eggs that she's still dating Esteban. Yeah. And we thought we saw one on Friday. Or Saturday, one of the two. I think it was Saturday. She posted that she was in Monaco mm-hmm. at the race at an event. And we were like, okay, case closed. My watch is over. <laughs> but then we noticed that Charlotte, Charles X, Charlotte, was at the same event, took basically the same photo, and then we saw that they were hanging out together. Yep. And we were like, okay, is this the X Wags Club? Like, what's going on? And then where's, from Elena. Where's Sarah? Yeah, from Elena, there was no other like photo evidence she just like thanked the brand for having her and charlotte at the event Mm -hmm. she was not at the race on sunday 
uh, on at the she race just start. She posted a photo of her holding rocks at playing the beach. with some pebbles at the beach <laughs> uh, at the race start. And then Espan was on the podium and she did not say anything. Yeah. So we're pretty sure they are over and Charlotte and Elena were simply invited to the race by this brand because of their like Closeness. perceived adjacency yeah. to one. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was it. And they were only really there for that day. So we are pretty positive in saying that Elena and Esteban are over. But I mean, at the same time, who fucking knows? They're so weird and yeah. we might see them. They might be like on and off. They yeah. might be focusing on, you know, riding their own waves mm-hmm. and then they'll be on the same wave again. But for you know now, that's important to be on the same you wave. You have to be on the same wave. Uh, so for now, we are assuming that they are no more, and we're kind of just waiting for that F1 Wags uh, accounts to really get up to date with us. Yeah. Which brings us to potentially the worst oh. rumor, and this is still this is still a rumor. This is still unfounded. We're thoughts. Yeah, we're you but know, we're seeing the signs, but we're not. We're not sure. But we're not subscribing to the signs, but we are. We are going to talk about them because we, you guys know, we bring you the, we bring you the, <laughs> the news. what, the hottest, the hottest news. So there, it is being highly speculated that Carlos and Isa <laughs> are also broken. No, I'm so and sad. You guys know <laughs> that we have written so hard for Isa. Since day one. Since day one. Like, we love Issa. But they have not been seen together in a while. I think the last time they were seen together was at Carlos's sister's wedding. No, there was a couple of the photos of them, oh, like, yes. holding hands, yes. walking in the street or somewhere. I couldn't yes. remember the time of that because I was scrolling through her Instagram. <clears throat> yeah. So. That was probably, like, in March. Yes. But they did go to his sister's wedding. Yes. She did get the bouquet. Yeah. Kiss of death. Maybe, maybe not. Um, that happened to me also, so. Yeah brutal that was a cursed one <laughs> that, that you got that happened at two alleys and then my other friends so i got cursed the kid so they haven't been seen together she hasn't been at any of the races recently they've stopped liking each other's photos yeah to be fair carlos never liked any of her photos like i went deep i went deep he used to like some of them he would like go on like a little spree where he'd like like a bunch of yeah. the most recent and then sometimes he wouldn't like we would comment but neither of them have really been she definitely stopped liking any of his posts yeah and then um, she has my, any of the races. I think the big key, mm-hmm. the big key is going to be this coming weekend in Spain. In Spain. It's his home race. Yeah. It's her home race. Is she going to be there? We'll see. That will kind of be the big tell. I mean, there is like looking at it from both sides. Obviously, there's clues pointing to maybe them not being together, but they are also very notoriously private. Right. And they are not seen together a lot. And she's so busy lately. Like she is kind of straddling the line between yeah. content creator and influencer yeah. a little more on the influencer side right now but she's been doing a lot more like paid brand partnerships and going to events mm-hmm. and like her podcast is kind of popping off yeah. or they're like flying to these places um so it could just be that like she's just really really busy right now and he's obviously really busy or it could be that they were both getting really busy and we're like let's take some time apart mm-hmm. Who knows? But I think we'll have our answer this weekend. Yeah, I think this weekend's going to be the biggest indicator. <sighs> and I just don't want to see it happen. I don't want right. <laughs> like to be right at all. I don't want to be right. Like, I'm so <laughs> sad. But there's also the points that, like, Carlos has been posting a lot more, like, thirst, thirst traps. traps. Yeah. And she's been posting a lot more consistently, like, personal stuff. Yeah. Like, more, like her everyday life yeah. and so I'm kind of like there's been a little bit of a shift in the way that they both are showing up on social media yeah. where I'm like is this the post breakup yeah look what you're missing yeah kind of thing I don't know like is this both of them trying to win the breakup like I can't be sure yeah I cannot can't say for certain but I'm very upset about the potential here that a could be over and I'm maybe we'll upset. have more news more updates for you by the time the regular podcast drops on thursday yeah but as of right now this is where we we're stand. on a very serious watch a very serious watch our watch is has begun mm-hmm. it's a bummer but that's where we're at and i don't want to end this little mini sode on such a bad note so i'm just a really quick other rundown of the other wags. Tiffany was in the paddock this weekend. Her clothes were still a disaster. Um, she just brings me entertainment. I love her so much. Yeah. But like, dear God, someone get her a stylist. Like she needs one so, 
so badly. Um, she wears those cherry earrings with everything and it just like doesn't go. And then she had mismatched greens and like she's trying. She's trying, but she needs <laughs> a stylist and she needs someone to burn her gladiator sandals and find her a new pair of shoes to mm-hmm. wear in the paddock. Um, maybe something with a little heel would be nice. Um, it just she has great calves. It doesn't feel like her. She's no, but an she athlete. Has, she's not wearing heels. But she has incredible legs. So I'm like, I really want it. And the last thing is that Kelly and Max went to some event last night. When I tell you that Kelly's outfit is literally the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my entire <laughs> life, but so I'm ugly. not kidding. She has a white satin mini dress on the likes of which I used to buy at Wet Seal for like homecoming with what appears to be a like a long floor length like wrap skirt wrapped halfway around Mm -hmm. like a beach cover up sarong but floor length that's also just satin. giving a just like a satin duster yeah and then but like tied at the waist like it's literally like it's like an apron <laughs> but on her butt and then a black shawl yeah it's real it's girly if you guys are watching the youtube that's what we're talking about also why are they why are they standing like that like what it's literally giving mom brings her son as her date to an event like why are they leaving room for jesus in this photo it is so bizarre this outfit sucks and she's actually had some decent outfits recently and that one really it it brought her all the way back down (laughs) for me personally but that's where we're at we've got a jet we got a jet, but this has a little fun, been a fun little mini sode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let us know if you have any other questions. Honestly, after you watch this, maybe we'll put up a little question box and be like, what else do you want in the girls' room for the main yeah. uh, pod episode for yeah. this week? Um, but until we see you on Thursday for that episode, we'll see you on the internet. Bye. Bye. Bye.